Okay, so if we're going through the pieces that we need to cut out to make the my myosotis dress, um, we have our underlining and we have our main fabric, right? These are the two we have. So for the most part, we need to cut the pieces out of both this and this, sort of like a lining, almost exactly like a lining, in fact. Um, your skirt pieces, you need to cut both. Your bodice front, you need to cut both. Bodice back, cut both. Um, the And this is where it differs. This is where we kind of, so skirt, bodice front, bodice back, all get a underlining and a main. The pockets only get the underlining. Because the pockets are on the inside of the garment, you don't need to use up your nice fabric on the pocket. So cut four of the underlining for the pockets. For the sleeves, you can do it either way. You can underline the sleeves if you want, but I thought it would be neat to have them non-underlined and just like a little bit sheer. I thought it would give some nice light and airy feel to the dress. So for the sleeve, I just cut the main. And then for the collar, so the collar, on the regular pattern is the only piece that gets lined. So you need to have an underlined collar and then a regular collar lining, which, which means that you cut one of these in the main and two of these in the underlining. And when you attach the underlining to the main fabric, you'll get your outer collar and then the lining piece ends up being your under collar. Makes sense. And then finally for the, um, what is this? The front facing, you just need to cut two of the underlining similar in thought to the pockets. You don't need to use the fancy fabric for this facing. It's going to be on the inside of the garment and you're never going to see it. So now that you've got all your pieces cut out, Here's how you underline. It's actually really simple. It's just like a bunch of extra steps. But basically you take your, so I'm gonna use the bodice front for this example, and you lay the main fabric right side up and you lay your underlining right side up. So I've got wrong sides together here and you line them up very carefully, pin them and baste around all the edges. I take it a step further and I also baste around the darts. You can see I have those basted here. And that just helps me see where the darts are without having to make a ton of marks. But once you get it all basted together, then you sew the darts as one. So you will be sewing through four layers of fabric. And when you do that, you will end up with a bodice that looks like this. So um, from the right side, you have your darts like you need to have. Um, from the right side, they look like regular old darts. And then from the inside, you have your dart legs visible. That's what makes this different than a lining. With a lining, you would have these sewn um, with the, with this, with this side facing in, you know, and so you wouldn't be able to see them, but that's what makes this an underlining. The reason why I didn't go ahead and figure out a way to line this is because we have this facing that gets attached here. And I worried that the seam allowances from the facing would show through right here under the main fabric. And I just didn't want to run any risk of that at all. See how you can see that just ever so slightly? I just thought that looked sloppy. So I figured we would just underline it. And then when you have the facing seams under there, you can still see it, but it's not as bad. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what the bodice front looks like. Here's what the bodice back looks like all all the edges have been completely basted shut. 
you have your two darts and then on the inside you have your darts visible. So just like the regular Maya Sotis dress, with or without an underlining, you are going to see all of your seams. Like you're going to see all your serging and all of that. This is not a lined garment. It's just underlined. So I thought I would go over just how you do that. Once you get all the pieces basted together and get your darts sewn together, I mean, really once you get them basted together, it's just like sewing the garment regularly. You have one bodice back, you know, and so you just treat it like a regular piece of fabric. So that is my lowdown on underlining.